Um, do you struggle chipping? Uh, we're gonna fix that right now. Let's go. All right, there is, there's something we're doing in our chipping that is destroying our game. And you know, so many people say, oh, don't talk about the negative. Don't say what not to do. Da -da -da. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard because look, we have to live in reality. You're thinking it anyways. You might as well talk about it when you're practicing. It's always better to get the truth out there. So we're gonna talk about the truth because we wanna improve. We can't improve unless we deal with reality. So here's what's happening with our short game. This is the one thing for the most part that messes everybody up. And it's this little move here. You see what I did? You said, man, that's horrible. It's this, you're flipping your hands. We all flip our hands for many, re there's many reasons we do it, but the reality is that's what we do. We get here and we flip our hands. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you the keys so that you can eliminate that from your game so it never happens again. It's pretty simple. We're gonna break it down so that you can attack these little chip shots with confidence every single time. Because look, this little down, this could be a scary shot. You're like, ah. What did you put it up there? Look at that roll down. Not bad. That's what I want for you. So we got to stop flipping our hands. It's the number one mistake in the world. And we got to start doing this. Okay, today's video is brought to us by our good friends over at Skillshare. And you see me talk about Skillshare in the past. They are a great online learning platform. Tons and tons and tons of video courses that you can just dive into, sink your teeth into from cooking, uh, gardening, being creative, photography, whatever you're into, chances are they have a course for you. What's super cool is the first 1,000 people who use the link in the video description below receive a free trial membership to their premium membership. And then after that, it's only like 10 bucks a month. So you can keep it or not, or try it, whatever. You got nothing to lose. And something I've been checking out lately and I wanted to share with you, it might be something a lot of people, especially in this day and age, might be into. It's this course about building your online business by uh, Sonia Rasula. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Anyways, it dives into really how to start, create, and you know, manage your online business. A lot of us are working at home these days, so it might be something cool to check out. So special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the chipping. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to download your free, free V1 Golf app. There's a link in the video description below because I really want you to record and video your swing so that you know you're doing it right, because that's gonna be the key. This is really simple. We're gonna break this down uh, in just a few simple little keys. All right, so you got your shot. First things I want you to do is your setup. Number one key is just setup's gonna be narrow stance, kind of just, you know, just in here. Don't get wide on this. This is a narrow stance setup. That's gonna be uh, number one key. And with your setup, I want your weight, you know, if you're 50-50, meaning just center, like you're not leaning on your front foot or your back foot, you're fine. Ideally, I want you slightly on your front. And if you just kind of kick it over a little bit, you'll be about 60-40. That's where we want you, 60-40, okay? That's gonna be key number one to really being able to pull off these little guys. Go. Oh. So we've got the setup. Here's what you're gonna do to now work on the flippy hands. What I want you to do is just, you're gonna take back swings to here. You're not gonna rotate the face open. This is why you need your V1 app or some type of way to record your swing. You're gonna look down the line and on the down the line view, your club's gonna go right to here. That's it. If you're rotating the face, that's no good. We don't wanna rotate the face open. Keep it square. Nothing's gonna move. And on your face on view, when you're looking at that, 
as you take it back, everything's the one piece takeaway. That's what we want, okay? You, that means you don't want to see your hands moving, your wrist cocking, nothing. You really want to see it all in one piece and we're just going right to there, okay, right there. And you're going to do from here to here, really swinging with the upper shoulders. That's your feeling. So you're just rocking those shoulders back and forth and you're just going to stop right there. That's what you're going to do with that weight slightly forward and just stop right there. That might have been a little too far. Don't worry about where that ball goes yet. This is just piece one is what we're doing right here. Back to here, right to there. Okay, now here comes the sexy part. Now what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna do the same thing here, here, and stop. And you're gonna hold this. And then from here, you're gonna rotate around after you hit the ball. And there's, a, there's something on that rotation you're gonna need to know. So right here, hold, same what you just did, and then rotate around. I'm not, as I rotate, I'm not moving my hands anymore. Those stay there. I'm just rotating my hips around like so. This is key. As you rotate around, what you're doing is you're going from your back front toe to your left heel. That's where you're, how you're rotating that. So you're going to take this little shot, hit the ball, and then here, now you rotate front toe, like the ball, the inside ball of your foot, to your back heel, and just turn. Okay? And you're going to do a thousand of those, boom, hold, rotate. The key to your short game and every shot you ever hit in your life is going to be your footwork. So what we're doing is we're rocking our shoulders and we're training our footwork. Now, now, here's how you put it all together. Now here's your shot. This is, this is how it is going to work in reality. So you set up, okay, open that face. Now, when you take it back here, at this point, this is when you start doing your footwork, front toe, back heel. You don't even have to think about swinging your arms because that's what gets you in trouble. You swing and flip too much. So you're just gonna go back here. And from here, you're gonna start working on your footwork down and around, front toe, back heel. And you're just gonna hold your hands here. Remember, that's what you did in your drill. You're gonna be in the same position. This time, you don't even have to think about rocking your shoulders. They will happen automatically, okay? So here, footwork. That's gonna be way too far. And then we just gotta get used to whatever your shot is, right? Maybe that's your shot. No, okay, for that it was a little too far, but back, rotate the footwork. There you go. I'm not flipping the face at all. You don't need to. That's what gets you in trouble. When you rotate the face open and then you're gonna flip it shut, all kinds of disasters happen there. So we cannot do that. Do this drill and you will see phenomenal results. Let's see if I can make one. All I'm thinking about is back, footwork. Go. Woo. That's the drill that's really gonna save your entire game, especially these short shots where you're just chipping it onto the green. Okay, you can work at it at home, wherever. You don't need a lot of space. You can use a wiffle ball, you can use a sponge ball, it doesn't matter. The key is, though, taking it back and getting that footwork working. Do the drill in pieces like that and you will see amazing results. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.